My name is Sandy Cross and I'm the Senior Planner and Volunteer Coordinator for the Town of Ducks Beach Planting Program. Sixteen years ago, in 2009 to be exact, the town developed a beach and dune management ordinance. The purpose of this ordinance was to preserve and enhance the natural function, aesthetic value, and protective qualities of the town's beach and dune system. Simultaneously with the adoption of this ordinance, their county's shoreline commission was supplementing local community beach and dune preservation efforts with a small portion of occupancy tax. The town of Duck used these limited funds to supplement small areas of the dune system with beach grass plantings and sometimes sand fencing. In 2013, the Duck Town Council allotted funding for increased dune maintenance and protection, which now affords the plantings of the entire oceanfront in Duck with American beach grass in the fall and winter months followed by planting of sea oats and bitter panicum, or panic grass, in the spring. This program has continued annually, and in 2017, it received another boost when the town established a volunteer program to help supplement plantings in the nourishment area. This volunteer program notably helped to build community and educate people regarding the importance of planting. But why is planting beach grass so important? What is the science behind it, and what should we know about its importance? Today, we are very fortunate to have Dr. Julie Zinnert from the Virginia Commonwealth University Department of Biology and her intern, Ann Chilino, a graduate student focused on coastal plant ecology. Julie's research centers on plant interactions in coastal systems, and so she and Ann are going to help us understand the why, the science behind the sprigs, or perhaps the science under the sprigs. My research is in barrier islands and coastal dunes and how they change over time naturally and also with climate stressors. And we also are conducting a lot of research trying to understand best practices for dune restoration and dune management. From there, we have noticed dunes tend to have a lot of complexity in terms of the diversity of species, the density of species across the dune system. One of the challenges with dune restoration and dune building in populated areas is that people don't fully value the protective function of that dune for protecting their property from flooding events. Through that action of the building of the dune up, it also provides that below ground biomass, which we are finding that also provides the vegetative material to re-establish the vegetation on the dune as well. So the way that these dune grasses build sand dunes is they collect sediment and when they get buried, they don't die. They actually grow more in response to that. They grow up and they grow out. So then they collect more sediment and grow more and that builds the sand dunes higher. There are different types of dune grasses and the different types of dune grasses will actually build different types of sand dunes. So some grasses like the grass behind me, American beach grass, it grows out in response to being buried more so than other grasses and so it builds lateral sand dunes which act as like long connected walls. And that is a really great barrier against wind and erosion. So the work that I do at VCU is researching different planting designs. So just like a gardener will want to plant plants next to each other that complement each other and help each other, uh, as we plant these dune grasses, it's kind of like we're, we're gardeners trying to grow and, and help them um, establish the best that we can. So we want to know what would be the best planting design or way to plant them or what plants they should be planted next to. So I have some experiments at VCU that we're working on where we're just looking at the, the best complementary plants for these grasses. By having more species planted within the dune mimics the natural dune system and each species of grass is going to respond to different stressors. Thank you Julie and Anne for that great information. Now we can all be good environmental stewards to help others understand the why and the importance of the sprigs. And lastly, a selfish plug to reach out if you are ever interested in getting sandy and planting some beach grass with us.